Hey, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining me on another one of Chris's exciting beer reviews. I got a really, really special beer today. It is a 10% vintage ale. Came in this wonderful case that I'm going to present to you. St. Ambro Vintage Ale 2010. And the one thing that scares me a little bit again is if you look real closely, it says 10%. Right there. Anyway, this is the baby we're going to be trying today. It's from Montreal, Quebec, and let's go check it out. Came in this really cool bottle here. Let me just put this away. All right. So, what brought this to my attention? was all of the wonderful tastes that are going to be coming out of this that I've never tried in a beer before. Um, if you go to beertaster.ca, I've got a quick little insight of review here for you. Uh, pours a slightly cloudy, dark copper color with a large, creamy, off-white head. The head slowly reduces to leave a lovely cap and lots of lace. Aroma is quite faint with hints of toast and raisin. Feel is very rich and creamy. Taste is full of dark, rich berries and roasted whole grains. Raisins, pears, and apple flavors come through with a strong alcohol taste. A bright grapefruit citrus finish gives the beer a clean overall taste. Another thing that I, I really like is that it's rated 4 out of 5 again, just like that uh, other beer that I, I had recently. Anyway... <sighs> You can see that video on my reviews as well. I've got a bunch of reviews going on my channel there. And uh, yeah, I'm going to check this out. Let's take a look at what the cap's going to look like. I really like caps. You know what? It's kind of ruined my cap here. And I really don't have much to show you because of the cap. Look what happened. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll clean it off and show it to everybody later, but it's not really that important. Uh, I'm getting really, really sick of using this glass with you guys. So I'm going to be bringing out a special one today. It came in a special gift pack that I got from LCBO from one of my favorite beers, and that would be Polliner. Check this thing out. I don't even know what this thing's called. I just know that this is a pint and this is <laughs> something else take a look at that again look unbelievable this is like three times the amount of this and yeah well that's gonna make sense when you realize why I'm not gonna be filling this thing up anyway let's give this baby a shot I'm gonna be using another drumstick today to open my beer See if we can get some good smoke action going on here. Oops. Smoke. Oh, I put my face right in front of it as soon as the smoke came out. Wow. This is going to be interesting. All right, let's see if I can pour this into this. All right, here it goes. <laughs> I'm going to show that to everybody. But point. <laughs> it's unbelievable. All right. Wow. Definitely smells a lot like the things that it talked about. Uh, I smell the raisin. I can't really say that I smell the toast too much. If it's going to smell like toast, it's probably like a faint, faint like buttered toast uh, kind of hint of smell. Uh, yeah, the website says that it has good lace and seems to look that way. Lace is uh, it's this basically, it's basically what they call the foam that 
the residual foam that doesn't go all the way down to follow the beer. Uh, some beers are really thick, some beers are thinner. Uh, I couldn't make that explanation any more simplistic for you, but anyway, let's give this one a shot. I'm really looking forward to this. Wow, that's really good. That's really good. Uh, you know, the website gave it a 4 out of 5. I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. But that's just my personal preference. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this beer. I just, uh, I just wish it had a little bit more flavor to it once again. You know, a lot of these beers claim to have hints of this and this and this and this and that. And, you know... When I when I go through a whole day, uh, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then I, I I pull out a beer like this, I kind of expect to taste everything a little bit more because it's not tainted by any other type of alcohol I might have drank before. <coughs> yeah, see, look at that. You can see the lace running right down the side there. That's a really nice thick lace. Well. Everybody, I highly recommend that you go out and try this beer. You know, before when I said I could probably fit three in here, I could probably fit four in here. If I'm going to fit four beers in here, by the time I finish it, not only is it going to be warm, kind of flat, but yeah, actually pretty much those are the two things that I'm not going to like right there. Wow, I still am like overwhelmed by using this glass. So I hope everybody learned something from this beer review. It's not the most informative review of my reviews, but at least you got to see another beer that you probably never tried. Once again, this is the 2010 series. I've seen 2007 online, I've seen 2009. So this is the newest strong ale from St. Ambro might even be pronounced Saint Ambois, but I'm not French. And I keep on picking up beers that sound like they got French names, so bear with me. Bear with me. Uh yeah. So that's another day of Chris's beer review. Enjoy.